Yo, 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 this is your boy Fireworks. Welcome back. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. And today we have another reaction to a Yeeky Cast video. He just dropped a video um, titled, Is Sony in Trouble? Is Kane Dynasty a flop? I'm really excited to take a look and see what information that he has to offer. Um, it also says things about uh, Secret Invasion tying into armor wars um so maybe we'll get some more info maybe we get some more deets i'm always down to check out geeky cash when he drops uh information or news uh, it's always good and it keeps my mind jumbling the the, the uh, news uh, realm has kind of been kind of i don't know the tide haven't been producing big waves uh, since D23, I think people were kind of upset about that. Uh, one Fantastic Four. There were people, I know a lot of people that was upset about Thunderbolts. Even though I understood, it, when I seen the cast, I knew exactly what was going on because I had heard prior that the story was going to be about them being the only ones left and us having, or the, the good, the good having to count on them to help them. Um, or whatever good was needed comes from them. So, anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into this Geeky Cast video. So, if you don't subscribe, or if you don't follow him, or you don't subscribe to him, go subscribe to the Geeky Cast ASAP. All right, go subscribe, hit the notification bell for my guy. Every time he drops a video, you will be notified. Okay, um, and make sure you guys are leaving a thumbs up here. All right, make sure you guys are leaving a like if you're new to the channel. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe, tap that notification bell. That way, when we are not, or I do a video just like this, you guys will get it first. I can't talk today, my bad. Uh, but this is the Geeky Cast. So, I'm Fireworks. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. And we back. What's going on, everybody? We're ready here. I know it's what been a couple up, days. Up. Been working on some things. Got a lot of news going in the things today. But I did get a green screen. It. I don't know why. If I point over there, it points. Obviously, it's opposite. So I'll just pretend like it's over there. Pretend like that's the way I'm pointing, even though it's really that <laughs> <Over> way. <there. laughs> the green screen is over there. I'm gonna have it all set up. If any of you know how to use the green screen well, comment down below. Maybe we can DM on Twitter. Give me some tips and tricks. I'm trying to figure out. Obviously, I need a couple more lights. But besides that, you know. The gist of it uh fix the shelves a little bit you can see like i got my 9.8 infinity gauntlet right there gotta change up some of the room obviously gotta fix it all a little bit we're gonna move the desk i think this way so i have more room on my wall gives you a further back look but anyways let's get into the video so first off sony delaying madam web craven and an unknown marvel movie so madam web is the end of 2023 craven is i believe craven oh no craven is to the end of 2023 in october madam webb is to the beginning of 2024 in february and an untitled marvel film for july 12th or july 6th now it was july 12th that's gotta be a spider-man movie 2023 that untitled movie has June to be a spider-man 6 of 2024 that could possibly be a tie-in with secret wars as we do know that jessica drew is coming over from the madam webb movie or at least that is what's rumored. That's That'd all be tied crazy in. because be obviously she had a big Wars. thing in Secret Invasion, being the scroll that actually died, revealing that it wasn't really her, and so on and so forth. That is a big deal. And obviously we're not going to be getting at this Secret Invasion unless they worked out something and it's going to tie I mean, backwards. But yeah, there's got to be some reason why they're pushing these films. It's not just Sony pushing yeah, them. Yeah, they're it pushing is, honestly, them to put them just, in the timeline. Just cancel. Like, just be done with your filming rights because obviously you don't know what you're doing. But I feel like if Kevin Feige really is on the executive producer branch of this, then he knows what he's doing and he's working it around in his mm -hmm. timeline. Next. Secret Evasion is going to lead directly into Armor Wars. Armor Wars was when Tony Stark's, I would say, um, technology, technology essentially got into the hands of the wrong people. And he found out it was being sold to 
multiple people plus his enemies. Well, with Secret Invasion tying directly into Armor Wars, that's going to get us to say, hey, okay, well, at the end of Secret Invasion, whether the, we know the scrolls are going after something that Tony Stark has, whether it be a time machine to change time, whether it be some of his, you know, maybe his barf device, maybe his suits, maybe they're going after Ultron. There was actually some concept art that came out a while ago showing Ultron versus the Hulk. Didn't look real. Hmm. Obviously had some people do some that reverse would be imaging. Crazy. But at the same time, this keeps coming up. What if they're trying to bring that suit of armor around their world to protect their planet and they found, oh, Ultron, Ultron. is that ultimate being. Oh, As that would be crazy. they were when Ultron did attack. Man, or, Ultron's a know, badass villain. Time machine. What does he say? Time travel. It's a win for me or whatever the whole yeah, says. Time travel. Know, something like that. Play <laughs> like that. Um, but then we got to say that now I'm obviously I'm going to read these parts. So they went on to note that following all the many reveals at D23, Marvel Studios sent out a press conference thing talking about each person that went on the stage. One of the key points to note, however, is hiding its Armor Wars description. According to them, it seems like Rhodey will be donning a few new suits with the event series. Mm, okay. That That's is fine. some good news. Which means we're going to be getting a lot of War Machine. Hopefully they're going to bring back the Iron Patriot. I really like that one. Yeah, that and was it dope. says, quote unquote, Rhodey fans will see characters in a whole new light. And considering the title of the series, audiences can look forward to all new suits for the hero. Featuring different types of armor. Title treatment is available to download and share. While talking with Screen Rant on D23's red carpet, the star of Armor Wars, Don Cheadle, addressed the connectivity between his upcoming show and Samuel L. Jackson's big scrolled theme adventure. He went on to say, they're connected, especially when it comes to what happens to his character in Secret Invasion six-part episode. I'm wondering, could he be a scroll? Maybe. Maybe. That would be crazy. Or maybe the real roadie's not a scroll, and he's being kept by the scroll by the scrolls, in that yeah. room. That we see Nick Fury looking over and it looked like all the dead subjects. What if they're actually holding a lot of the main Avengers and they were taken at a certain point in time? Then, this is the big, big thing right here. Feige on the Thunderbolts. I think it lets you tell us all you need to know about the Thunderbolts when the beloved Winter Soldier is the most stable among them. He then went on to laugh. That's pretty crazy because then they went on to say, you know, one thing in Captain America film is that there currently is a world without the Avengers. Sam Wilson finds himself as Cap at a time where that's not an organization of Avengers. But just because there's not an organization of Avengers doesn't mean there's not a group of superheroes in the MCU. Mm. Not a group, perhaps, as lofty as the Avengers, but there's a group, and they're called the Thunderbolts. The Thunderbolts are finally coming through the screen, and they are a ragtag bunch. Essentially, it's going to be competing with James Gunn's Suicide Squad. I'm hoping it actually dethrones it because everybody really liked the new Suicide Squad, and I don't think it was that great, to be honest. King Shark was my favorite, and he stole the show for me, and I also obviously like peacemaker john cena but besides that very mid i'm not a huge margot robbie fan i feel like a lot of people can do harley quinn justice she's a good actress don't get me wrong but i just think a lot of people can do that character justice and last but not least we got jeff loveness you know him from rick and morty writer he's writing essentially is writing kang dynasty is he gonna have too much comedy another love and dis Thunder disaster? I said that all in one word. Another love and nah, thunder disaster? Nah, it shouldn't be like that. Nah. We don't know. Nah. All I know is that this is the thing. People are complaining about how Phase 4 was so bad. Okay, Phase 4 had a pretty serious tone, but at the same time had some comedy. Thor, you know, stuff like that. But, but, hear me out. Shit's gonna get serious. Yes, Jeff Loveness will obviously have the Rick and Morty aspect and be funny. But if they can keep the perfect bit of funny to action to sadness to... You know, like the mad, ratio, right? Such as Infinity War or Civil War or Endgame, we're perfect. We're good to go. So as long as Kevin Feige goes, okay, I'm going to watch over here. I'm going to watch over there. We'll be good to go. To be all honest, as long as Feige is actually not giving as much creative control. Because after Taika Waititi, I would like to see Feige step back in the big chair. And last but not least. I'm with it. This was addressed by multiple people, and I thought I'd bring it up. Uh -oh. So. Kang's new powers question mark in the trailer he seemed to have some type of telekinesis is what people were saying I read that however it seems to be either part of his 
suit because realistically in the Avengers cartoon in some of the comics it's part of his suit that actually enables him to do I would say transfer the mass in a sense it's not telekinesis so he's more than likely pushing Scott not actually physically like it's a button he has on his suit like I'm not a huge Kang master obviously I'm learning (laughs) as we go and I'm reading more comics about Kang over time like today i was actually reading how kang was determined how he was going to beat thanos obviously thanos in the comics is huge strong and powerful and if he wants you gone thanos is going to get rid of you Mm -hmm. so kang has to race back and forth into time in in a sense to avoid thanos but with that being said the biggest thing that i want to talk about is how everybody's saying oh you know what if he has telekinesis what if he does what if the quantum realm gave kang his powers yeah remember janet went in and she had powers Ghost had powers. So if Kang, this Kang, truly has powers, then that's going to be something different from the, you know, the MCU, obviously, from the comics. And this Kang might actually have powers and not just be a super, super smart person with the ability to manipulate time and do all that through devices and through inventions. Right. Because we do know he's a descendant of Reed Richards and sometimes Doctor Doom. But this one could be an ex-worker of Tony Stark. Or a descendant of Tony Stark. Who knows? Because we all know that Kang made sure Tony wasn't around anymore. No, I think that there's going to be some deep shit on Kang. Let me know what you think down below. Do you think Kang is one to have killed Tony Stark off? Do you think Kang is actually having powers? Or he doesn't really have telekinesis? What do you think? Do you guys think the Thunderbolts is going to be good? Are you excited for Sony? Or do you think it should be scrapped? And are you (laughs) more excited for Secret Invasion or Armor Wars? As always, my name is Beretta. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So my giveaway is going to be at 3000 I'm going to make it the Christmas thing. So the whole thing is we're going to make a goal up, up, up. So it could start at Amazon gift cards. Then it could be a Wii. Then it could be an Xbox Series X. And then it could be a PlayStation 5. It just depends on how many subs we get, how fast we get to 3000 and whatnot. I think that's cool. Gives a little incentive to, you know, yeah, that's sub. Fun. That's dope. Know what you think. Leave a comment down below. And as always, I always, always, always want to thank my group, John Hoffman, Joe the Grim, who is always helping me with stuff was mentioning the kang stuff today mika quinn quincy charles love these people if you want to join our group and you want to join the special membership it's just a little down there if you want to click on it in in the description i'm stuttering my words if you want to click on the description if not once again whatever is appreciated i just appreciate that you watch these videos you interact with me you let me know that you enjoy them let me know what i can change i'm obviously working on a lot Holy like shit. i said he with the green screen though. over there i'm gonna be working on i'll be working on some transitions gonna be working on some new Fair end enough. credits that's the power stuff. and a lot lot more as always let me know what you guys think comment down below if you would like to join the geeky cast and help me out with these videos and you know interact on twitter and as always i'll catch y'all in the next one all right you guys so welcome back that was info from the geeky cast so um the 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 jessica drew character um for the madam web shit i like that because i think that secret wars needs to be that big um i wish that there were more um movie companies or whoever these big corporations are that have the rights to these characters I wish that they would team up with Feige, bro, to let him, to not necessarily let him, but to team up to make this happen. I really, really was with the fact that we're going to get Spider-Woman or Spider-Girl or Spider-Woman coming uh, to the MCU from the Madam Web movie. That's perfect. That just shows you that there's a huge continuity. And I think that Sony still has some bad shit going on over here, kind of like, uh, connectivity wise I don't care about the solo dolo movies uh, I was interested in Craven. I'm kind of still interested but I'm, I'm I don't know it's it's hard after the Morbius and then reading about what Craven is gonna be it's kind of the Madam Web movie sounds interesting though where it was like a time heist and trying to make sure that uh, a certain Peter Parker is born, which I'm assuming is Tom Holland since Kevin Feige is over all that. Um, But I definitely think them being pushed back is reworking the timeline to make sure things connect. Um, It's kind of good to know that now. That's so far down the road. So by the time we get there, yeah, people will remember, but it'll it'll, it'll gel. I like that. The, The Secret Wars information, I'm with it. Uh, or not the secret wars the secret invasion excuse me the secret invasion information is going to be dope 
I want more of Rhodey. Um, then don't forget you guys, I know he didn't mention it, but I've heard from numerous sources that White Vision will be in Armor Wars. Um, and I think that we heard that maybe around the Comic-Con before the pandemic. Um, but yeah, I'm interested in that. Um, cause I want to see where white vision comes to play. Um, I think that's a character that I'm really interested in on figuring out literally from WandaVision just split up and gone and dipped and we have no, nothing on this character. Um, and I'm interested in seeing Rhodey, like he said, maybe the iron Patriot suit that, which was fire, but maybe he gets the proton cannon. Maybe we get to see, um, something like that. And I wonder what they took of Tony's. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe it was uh, some of the suits or maybe it was, you know, blueprints to make another Ultron, something like that. Um, and I think the Rick and Morty um, writer is going to bring, for Secret Wars, I think the Rick and Morty writer is going to bring um, not so much comedy, but he's going to bring weirdness. Um that kind of random like the, the writers of Rick and Morty have a way of writing something uh, like I was watching some Rick and Morty the other day and it's just like the way they speak into something and then something happens like I think that's where the writing that they're looking for I think they're not looking at them as a whole I think they're trying to take a piece of what they do very well and add it to the MCU from that writer um just from my looking standpoint uh, but i'm excited uh like i said that the the wave has been down a little bit lately um but it's good to see that geeky cast got some news for us um again i'm gonna be doing uh reactions to his videos anytime he gives us marvel news and information if you follow me on social media i share a lot of his stuff because he's pretty much the only guy that delivers okay and, I, and not everybody's gonna be right Marvel has been known to change stuff right up until the last minute. A lot of people were saying before Comic-Con that they were never going to release all these. Um, they were never going to release all these things and tell us about this stuff. And they came out straight up and told us about Secret Wars and Avengers. But I also think that's because of the trademark leak. But that's here nor there. So make sure you guys are following the Geeky Cast. All right. Uh, I'll have the link down to his YouTube channel in the description. Don't forget he's having a giveaway. Um, and make sure you guys are leaving a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are leaving a like. If you're new here to the channel, make sure you guys hit subscribe. Tap that notification bell. That way, when we or I do a video just like this, you all will get it first. Okay, so um, I'll catch you guys very soon. Just wanted to make sure we stay on top of the Marvel news. All right, I'm Fireworks, and this is Snoopers gonna Snoop YouTube channel, and we out.